Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all doing so great today. I am excited to be here doing a little Valentine's Day makeup look with you guys. I have like no makeup on my face, so it's a little scary right now. If you're hopping in and you're watching the replay, come say hi. Type replay below so I know you're watching the replay. If you're here live, come say hi. Let me know how you guys are doing. It has just been a really long time since I've done a Get Ready With Me makeup look live, and I just felt like it was time. I wanted to come on and connect with you guys. It's been quite a weekend for those who have been following my stories. You might know that we've been going through kind of an emotional time in my house. Uh, we lost our cat this weekend, so we have just been a mess. A mess, to put it the best way that I can. But I actually haven't even put on makeup since this all started. So this is the first time I'm gonna be doing makeup. So I thought it would be time. Hi, Rachel, how are you doing today, beautiful? Hi, Amber, thanks so much for hopping on with me today, guys. Love hanging out with you guys. Um, so I'm just gonna clip back my hair. We're gonna do a little Valentine's Day look. I really don't even know what I'm doing. I just wanted to come on and hang out with you guys. So let's let's figure this out together. Hi, Erin, how are you? I'm just clipping my hair back, getting it out of the way. Yay. Hey, Jill, how are you doing? So yeah, it's just been kind of crazy, kind of crazy. I'm, I feel kind of, I'm still like, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. We're definitely at peace about things. It's just, it's hard. It's hard to lose those you love, you know? Hi, Trisha. Thanks so much for hopping on. Hi, Lindsay. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm going to be starting off with some silk today. This is my favorite primer of all time. It just is going to make all my makeup sit on my face so beautifully. It kind of just smooths out all those pores. It allows your makeup to rest on top of your face rather than soaking in. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. I always make funny faces when I apply stuff all over my face. So just, you know, <laughs> let's go with that. Hey, Patty. Thanks so much for hopping on. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to come hang out with me. Hey, Leanna, how are you? Thanks, Rebecca, for noticing the sign. I'm loving it. I was, I put it up and I was so excited about putting it up and then everything happened with Jane and I just feel like I didn't even, I was like excited about it, but it kind of took away my excitement. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy it now. I'm just putting this all over my face. I'm putting it even like on my eyes because I do put like you know, eyeshadow on. I want my eyeshadow to just lay really nicely. So I'm just putting that all over my face. The new formula of the primer, we had a, it was reformulated about a year ago and I just absolutely love it. It's my favorite. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of light concealer if I can find it. Here it is. My desk is such a hot mess today, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be looking for products a lot. I apologize. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Hi, Jen. How are you? Gorgeous. Thanks so much for hopping on, guys. You guys are awesome. So, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing look-wise. I know I'm going for something in the pinky Valentine's Day range. How you doing, Christine? I'm going in next with some light concealer, and I'm going to put this on before my foundation. Just covering up. I have a couple little trouble spots on my face. I've been doing a lot of crying lately, guys. I mean, for real, I've been doing a lot of crying. I'm all puffy, but this is gonna make me feel better today. I'm just covering up my little trouble zones with my light concealer here. And I am also gonna go in under my eyes with this light concealer. And I'm just using my ring finger to blend it in place because the ring finger is the most gentle of all the fingers on your, on your hand. You're gonna use the least amount of pressure. You never wanna put too much pressure on your face. We are fragile, guys. <laughs> we don't want to be, like, you know, attacking our face with makeup. So that's going to be, like, my first layer of under eye concealer here. I will be putting some candlelight on my eyes as well. But this is just going to go under my foundation. Yes, Jen, seriously, it does. It's going to make me feel human again. I need it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I'm, I don't want you guys to think I'm, like, a total mess. But I'm kind of a total mess right now. <laughs> it's okay. We are allowed to go through emotions. We are allowed to be sad. I am generally a very positive person. I am putting this here above my eye too, guys. I have like this dry patch I've had for a couple days now. I think it's just because I'm in Ohio and we are so dry right now. So, so every now and then my skin will get like a little random dry patch. I'm just covering it up. And the silk's gonna make sure it's all staying nice and hydrated, and the concealer's just gonna cover that up. So that just kind of covered up my little trouble zones. I definitely don't have full coverage or anything at this point. It's just like a first step. 
of how I've been liking to do my concealing as of lately. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is my foundation. I'm going to be doing a mix of Dewy Make Sense Foundation Original Formula mixed with our light CCTM. I wear medium CCTM in the summer, but come the winter, I am pale right now. I did do a, like a tanning thing last week. I used my new foaming, what do they call that, like at-home tan, foam, I can't even think of what it is, self-tanner, that's the word I'm thinking of. I did a self-tanner last week, and then everything, ha I was going to do it again to kind of give myself full coverage, and then everything happened with Jane, and obviously I wasn't worried about self-tanner, and I lost all of my color. So I will this week be doing the self-tanner two days in a row to see, like, how it works. My skin does too. I'm in a Michigan, so we are super dry as well. Liz, you know what I mean. Like, it's just, this. our winters can be totally brutal. I'm in Ohio, if I didn't already say that. So I'm just kind of going to squirt this all over my face. I'm not being like super precise about it. Just because this is like the easiest method for applying your foundation and your tinted moisturizer. I just put a little bit of each all around my face. Just kind of make little markings that make me happy. <laughs> Squirting it all around just like that. And then I'm using a foundation brush to first stipple it in place. And I'm going right over that concealer I did a couple minutes ago. And I'm just stippling it in place first. And then I'm going to go back and like do some swoops. Jen does it that way too. Isn't it easy, Jen? Like you could totally do it the right way, squirt it on the brush, go through all of it. Or you could even like put it on with your hands, your fingers. I love how versatile our foundation is. This is just my preferred method because you get a really nice amount of coverage. Um, you get all the product dispersed all around your face. It doesn't make it too cakey. So I like this stipple method first. As you guys can see, I'm kind of just stippling it in place. And then I, once I get it all stippled, which let me check my mirror here. It's hard to see in the phone. Then I go back and I do some swoops, like some swoops swirlies and that just gives it a really smooth finish it's my birthday today and it's so cold that i literally don't want to do anything oh happy birthday to you liz i hope you have a great day i be, i feel like you get a better application than putting it on the brush first yeah jen i agree and i feel like when you put it on the brush first you're also wasting a lot of product because so much is going to sink down into these brushes into those bristles you're just going to use so much more and on days where I don't want as much coverage or I don't feel like I need as much coverage, I just go in with the tinted moisturizer. But on days where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I love mixing in the original foundation for that extra coverage. Do you put CC Tan foundation on your eyes too or no? I actually, so as you can see, I didn't like put it, I didn't squeeze it directly in that area because it can get really heavy really fast with makeup on your eyes. So as you can see, I sort of just squirted it around my face and then I'm brushing it in place, but then I am kind of going back here with the brush after I've swirled it all around my face and I don't have as much product on it. I do kind of just take it up here, not onto the main lid area, but here just because I have a lot of redness and purple in this area of my eyes, especially because I've been crying a lot lately. So that kind of just evens out that color correcting, you know, it gives it that color correction in there, but it's not making it super, super heavy in the eye area. Um, for the main part of my lid, I will be using candlelight as my base. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know. I've been wearing Cenogen since 2017. I just can't bring myself to try anything, try any other makeup or skincare. It's the best ever. Erin, I couldn't agree more. I am a complete, like, Senna junkie. And I, I will be fully honest with you guys, like, before I found Cenogens, I wore, like, all different types of makeup brands. You know, I was wearing Urban Decay this and MAC this and, you know, all different brands. And I felt like that was the thing to do. But once I tried Cenogens, I was like, why would I wear any other brand? They're not long lasting. They don't provide the skincare qualities in the makeup. It just makes sense to me. So like I'm I'm hooked for life. And now I'm a totally one brand shopper when it comes to makeup. I'm going shopping in a view and going out to dinner, but I'm staying in my warm bed for now. Liz, I love that. I love that journey for you <laughs> for sure. Ashley wants to know why I've been crying. Um, we had to put my cat down on Friday. So I'm just, I've been kind of a mess, guys. I've been kind of a mess. Of course, does. 
Christine used to be a Mac girl, not anymore, right? Absolutely. I loved Mac back in the day, but I'm, now like when I go to try and wear those products, I just, they don't live up to the quality of Senegens. They don't have all those amazing qualities that make Senegens stand apart. So that's why I like literally can't go back. That's just me though. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of contour. I need my color. Sorry guys reaching off the camera. I'm using Americano for contour. This is my favorite contour color. Yeah, Ashley, it's been really tough. I've been, I've been kind of a mess. That's just all I can say about myself is I've just been kind of a mess. I haven't really felt like doing much. House feels different. It's quiet, you know, they become such a part of our lives. So it's, it's, it was hard, but I'm, I'm getting through. Okay, so I'm coming in with a little Americano here on my contour and I'm drawing it just from this corner of like where my jaw is and I'm drawing it towards the line of my mouth but I'm only going about that far and then I'm just taking my contour brush and I'm adding back a little bit of dimension to my face because you guys when we put on foundation when we put on concealers we're mattifying our face we're making it all like one color you know what I mean this is all like one color and I just put it all over my face so our faces have natural shadow in them and that's why we contour you guys because our face has natural crevices in it you have a you have jawbone you have you know some natural shading here we just want to accentuate that i like doing like a little bit of contouring not heavy it used to be too faced urban decay girl not anymore liz i love it i used to wear all those same brands too i was i would go to sephora and i would spend so much money and then like i was always confused about like which foundation should I buy from which brand and you know like whose eyeshadow blah 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 and now it's just so easy because I know none of them have what Cinegens has so why try anything else where are you from you're funny Ashley I'm from Ohio so the Cleveland area in Ohio like Northeast Ohio if you know where Cleveland is I'm sort of near there and then yeah I'm just doing some contouring around my forehead again we're just adding some shadow and dimension into my face shape again I just don't want to look you can look a little flat if you don't add some shadow back what did you just use for the contour I'm using Americano shadow sense it's one of my favorites but some great options that you could try too if you don't have Americano in your arsenal would be like mocha java mocha java is a great contour color it's not quite as bold as Americano um, rust is another option I really like but rust is a lot bolder so you would need like a very little amount of rust to do the contour work I really like Americano for my skin tone. I'm more olive -y, kind of a medium tone. If you're a little fairer, you will love Mocha Java. If you have a darker skin tone, you can move into even darker shades as well. Browns are great. Caramely colors are great. It just depends on your natural skin tone and what you're trying to contour with. So you always want to go a couple shades darker than your natural skin tone. What kind of brush am I using? This is a Real Techniques sculpting brush. It has this angle here, which I think works so well for the contouring. I love how warm Americano is. It's a great color for contour. I only asked because our team leader just hit Crown Princess and we became a Dominion. That's so exciting, Ashley. Congratulations to her. That's amazing. Hey, Heather, thank you so, so much. Hugs back to you for sure. For sure. Okay, so next I'm going to go... And I think I'm going to do my eyebrows next. If I can find my brushes. I found one of my old Too Faced palettes not too long ago. Swatched it and I remembered how much I hate powder shadows after using shadow sense for two years. Aren't powders nightmares, guys? Like, I can't do them anymore. I tried doing makeup on a friend a couple months ago. Probably longer than that now. And uh, she had powder and I was like, I just... And what is this? What do I do with this? It just flakes everywhere. It flies everywhere. Cream to powder is the way to go, guys. So exciting. Okay. So I am just brushing my brows into place using the spoolie. Just like that. Hi from Chicago. I'm hello from Ohio. Um, okay, so I'm going to use Rustic Brown on my brows. This is my absolute favorite brow color, you guys. I'm a natural brunette, so I find that the Rustic Brown looks really, really good on me, even though I have always some crazy colored hair. 
a lot of people ask me like how do you get your hair to look sort of on the natural side even though it's so like fantasy colored and I'm convinced it's because I leave my brows somewhat natural so I'm going in with the rustic brown and I'm gonna first kind of just like shape out the brow like kind of outline it and I'm using just so you guys know this is a Smashbox brush it's really flat and squared off it had a number on it at some point but it is so old I cannot tell you what the number is because it has worn off but any sort of flat square shaped brush would look great or you can do an angled brush I love an angle brush for brows too it is huge and I asked because I started in August last year trying to get better at makeup I did a look yesterday I love your opinion on Ashley send it my way and I'll check it out for sure um, my best advice to you is just keep following as many tutorials like on Facebook, YouTube, and they don't even have to be Senegens related tutorials because you'll get a lot of the hang of the techniques just from watching with any products that they're using. But just keep expanding your knowledge, keep trying to learn and keep pushing yourself out of your box. And I guarantee within like a year's time, you will be so surprised with how much your skills have improved. It's literally all about practice. So there we go. I have one brow done. I just sort of like outlined it and then I filled it in. So there you go. I really love finishing my brows off. To me, it's one of the most important things I can do on my face. Without my brows, I feel really naked. <laughs> Ashley, you can go ahead and send me a message here on Facebook. So again, I'm just sort of like outlining the shape. Sorry, it's hard for me to see in the in this uh, phone, you guys. And yeah, I do mess up, and I, I totally mess up all the time, and that's why I keep Q-tips handy, because that is the perfect tool to have on hand for quick fixes. Shadow Sense has a working time of about five minutes. We all know Lip Sense dries really, really fast on our lips. Shadow Sense has a working time of about five minutes, so you can totally correct any mistakes that you've made. You have five whole minutes before things start really settling down on your face. Karen says my brows never look natural. That's okay. I mean, and a lot of people don't even like the look of natural brows. I mean, big bushy brows are totally like the trendy thing. Actually, I feel like skinny brows are making a comeback, but I am, I am not participating in that trend. I did that once in the 90s and I'm not doing it again. My eyebrows are staying somewhat full. <laughs> It took a long time to do, though, because I am not great and still new at eyeliner. eyeliner. That's fine, Ashley. Ta I mean, honestly, like, that's the cool thing about makeup. There are no rules. There's nobody sitting there timing you. There's no, like, appropriate amount of time to do your makeup. Like, certain looks take me hours. Hours. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to learn something and it's going to make you feel good to do, take the time to do it. You know, don't feel bad about taking time for things that you love. Rustic brown is my favorite brow color. I'm a natural blonde, but I dye my hair dark brown. If I don't color my brows, it looks like I don't have any. <laughs> I could totally see that, Liz, with you being a blonde. That's hysterical. Rustic brown is such a great color for brows. It has, like, no... We have garnet and we have um, burgundy, which both have, like, slightly reddish tones. Rustic brown is, like, flat brown. So you don't have to worry about any of those red tones if you're just, like, straight brunette. Um... I love mocha java too, like I said, for a lighter option. My blondes love mocha java on their brows. But if you do have any sort of redness to your hair, you might like the garnet. Do I use brow scents? I personally like the, um, the consistency of the shadow scents, the rustic brown, better for my brows. But it all depends on like what you're doing with your brows. For me, I have a really decent brow shape in place. I've been waxing and plucking for years, so I can kind of see where I just need to outline and then fill in that shape to make them more pronounced. Um, but for my clientele that may have overplucked their eyebrows in the 90s, maybe they're a little on the older side and their brows have become more like wispy, they don't have that fullness in their brows. Uh, the, for those people, I really love brow scents. Um, brow scents, you get more of that liquid let me see if I have one here. It's a liquid formula as opposed to cream. Like these are cream to powder, our shadows. Brow Sense is a liquid similar to our Lip Sense. And it has the spoolie brush attached to it. And then you have this really fine tipped liquid brush. So I like this personally, just a little like lesson for you guys to actually draw in like hair like strokes 
for those who have thinning eyebrows, okay? So if yours are really thin, you're looking for those natural hair like strokes. I love the liquid, you guys, because you can get in really fine, wispy strokes to make them look like natural eyebrows. For me, personally, I like more of a microbladed look, which is a full filled in eyebrow, and I'm just following the natural curvature and shape of my brow. So for me, rustic brown is the way to go. Does that make sense, you guys? Because I got a lot of questions on brow scents, like, and I do like the product, but I just don't need it for me personally but I do use the sun clients a lot too. So this is my favorite. If you have brows in place that you're just filling in, if you need to shape them and draw them out because you've maybe gotten too thin in your brow, then I recommend the brow scents for you guys. Okay. So let me know if that makes sense. Okay. Um, 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 um I don't even know where I'm going to go next. I think I'm going to do some eyeshadow. Before I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my candlelight shadow scents for my base on my eyes. Nikki, you're incredibly knowledgeable and I love watching your lives. Oh, Nikki, that makes me so happy. You are so sweet. Thank you so, so much. I like being helpful to people. It's like, it's my love language. Okay, so I'm going in with some candlelight shadow scents here. Again, this is creamed powder and I don't need a ton of it because I already went in with light concealer and I don't want to get too like heavy or cakey. So what I'm going to do is I just put a little bit here. I'm going in with a, sorry, this is a setting brush from Real Techniques. And I'm very carefully brushing it in place. And then I'm not actually applying the candlelight to my upper lid, but I'm going to take the remnants off this brush and just put it over that main part of my lid. And that's my base for my eyeshadow. You can see that I've canceled out a lot of the darker tones in this eye. I just don't want them crossing through on my shadow scents. I like brow scents as a liquid eyeliner. Sometimes the fine tip brush is ideal for it. That's a great idea, Liam. I should try that. Okay. So I just a little bit out there. And there we go. We're going to go in and do this other eye. And I'm not going in real heavy with this, guys, because it, the, this can get a little cakey if you do a, too much. So start with a lesser amount and then add on as you need. Don't go, like, so many YouTube videos show girls with under eye concealer, like, literally taking a brush like this and just, like, putting it under their eyes. Unless you're 16 years old with baby butt skin on your face. That's just not gonna work for you. You're gonna get crusty. So like, and it doesn't even matter if it's shadow sense or any other concealer. That's like way too much concealer. Nobody needs that. So just do a little bit, build it up as you need. And like I said, I'm gonna take this brush remnant and use it on the main part of my lid. Oh God, I'm so glad you guys like. Ashley, I won't be able to check that out until I'm off the live because I'm obviously on this live. <laughs> but I'll check it out when I'm done and send you a message. So there you go. Now we have like a nice little base in base in place. I can learn for my eyes. All right. Uh, let's see. What am I going to do for shadows? I, I don't even know, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, 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 I'm really liking the rosé shimmer. I think I'm going to go in with that. Maybe some Bella Cream. And some Whisper Pink. I think these are the colors I'm going to use. I might add something else in. We'll see. So this is where I'm going to start off. I'm going to get some brushes here. My brushes are not clean. That's fine. <laughs> Real life, Shannon. Not clean. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques remover. If you guys are curious about this, you can click my Amazon shop. I do have this posted. Um, I can post the link here when I'm done as well. This is a quickie makeup remover. So if you guys like don't, if you have makeup on your brushes and you want to use that brush and have it be dry really, really quick, Cinema Secrets is the way to go, you guys. It's a quick cleaner and it's a quick dry. So I just put some in this cup. I'm mixing it around. And I'm going to get my brush clean. Desert Rose and French rose those are such great colors although I've been used I did use those a couple times last week so I want to change it up a little bit Ashley thank you so much thank you I'm gonna do a, a mix today so you'll get to see how I mix 
my lip colors. Okay, so all I did was I just dried it off here, got off the color, and as you guys can see, there's no more color on this brush and it is already dry and ready for use. So Cinema Secrets is amazing for those like quick cleans, but I do do a thorough brush cleaning every, I try and do it like once every week, but in all honesty, sometimes it's like once every month, <laughs> just depending on how life is. Um, but I do that with our brush cleaner and that's like a deep, deep clean. Um, circle motion or back and forth wipes to clean your brushes. I do circle motion just because I feel like back and forth can be a little aggressive on your brush tips and I feel like uh, this swirling motion is just a little bit more gentle, but I could be totally wrong. <laughs> That's how I do it. Liz, uh, I'm so happy they're permanent now. They look so good at the other. Yeah, they absolutely, those colors were like so perfect for each other and it's so funny because they came from totally different collections, released in totally different times in the year, but they work so beautiful together and I'm so happy that they're back. On your shadows, I tried copying one of them. You will see, but it's not that good. Hey, girl, just keep trying. That's all it's about. All you got to do is keep on trying. I've been a distributor for, I'm going on four years in April. And before I was a distributor, I struggled a lot with makeup techniques. So it's been like three and a half to four years of like extensive practice on my end. But I still have so much to learn, you guys. Like I am no professional. I am no makeup artist. I do things the wrong way half the time. Just have fun with it. <laughs> Hey, Bailey, how are you, gorgeous? Doing some makeup today. Taking my time. Just hanging out with you guys. Trying to get back into my normal groove. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of this rosé shimmer, which I'm loving this color lately, guys. It is so beautiful. I'm using a fluffy, this is, again, a Real Techniques brush, Instapop shade brush. I love the Instapop brushes from um, Real Techniques. So I'm just going in with this rosy shimmer like all over the main area of my lid because I love this color. It is so pretty. Love that. I have a lip sense request. Does one part Aussie Rose and two parts Opal Shimmer like look like Golden Orchid? Opal Shimmer. I'm not sure what you mean by Opal. We have Fire Opal, which is a lip sense color. And then we had, we have Opal Gloss. I'm not sure what you mean by opal shimmer, but if you're talking about fire opal, one part Aussie Rose and one part fire opal, it would probably be close. Golden Orchid, I feel, well, Aussie Rose, I feel like has more orange in it than Golden Orchid. Or Golden Orchid's like a pinky pink, so I'd have to play. Um, fire Opal's great, but it's really, really pale. Um, what was the one that was, I have to think, there was something else that was sort of like Golden Orchid, and I can't remember it right now. Give me a minute to think about that. Bailey, I'm so good. I have, you know, I can't say I'm so good. I'm good. I'm still kind of getting through things, but I'm here and I'm like functioning today. So that's like half the battle one, right? Thank you, Jessica. You are so sweet. How many brushes do you have all together, like set wise? Because I don't clean brushes often. <laughs> um, I have a couple different sets. I have like some cheapy sets from um, Amazon that are great. Real Techniques are my favorite. They're not as expensive as like a Morphe brush or something like that. Um, so those are really great like medium range brushes. I have a whole drawer full of brushes here, but I don't use them all. So I'd say I have like three sets of brushes, but you can never really have too many brushes. Thanks, Santa. Thanks for hopping on. Honestly, I'm having fun with it. Ashley, that's all it's about, having fun. Sunshine, yes, Brit. Sunshine was pretty close to Golden Orchid. It has a little bit more um, pinkiness to it, like a little bit more of a vibrant pink than the Golden Orchid, which is a little bit paler, but Golden Orchid was pretty. Sunshine has that same sort of like golden hue to it, which is so pretty. So does Heart of Gold, I love those. Bailey, yes, Mauve Ice would be similar. Mauve Ice is more lavender-y, so it's gonna take it a little bit more lavender, you know. Um, Ashley, check out my Pinterest. That's where everything is located. Pinterest.com backslash Swack Beauty. That is where I post all of my graphics. I'm a little bit behind. I haven't updated my Pinterest in a couple of weeks, so my like super recent stuff might not be on there. I'm trying to get through everything, but I will get there soon. But yes, that is the best place to check out like all of my previous mixes and stuff like that. That's my like basic library of where I post everything. So Pinterest.com backslash Swack Beauty. Um, thanks Bailey. That means a lot. Can you send me cheapy sets? Check out Amazon, Ashley, for sure. Just check out makeup brush sets on Amazon. 
Um, I'm getting new brushes today. It's much needed. Liz, yay, that's so exciting. There's great brush deals on Amazon, guys, for sure. I get all my Real Technique ones, e these ones from either Amazon or like Target has them, Walgreens has them, any drugstore has them. That's why I love Real Techniques, excuse me, because they're really not like crazy price point wise. Ashley. I don't have Pinterest. It's a free app, girl. That's where I have everything. So I'm not going to be able to like just send you stuff, send you all of my stuff because I literally have four years worth of content, girlfriend. So that is the best place to check everything out. You can go through the um, my albums here on my Facebook page. It's just not nearly as organized as Pinterest because I have everything like divvied out by like lip looks, eye looks, stuff like that. So that is definitely the way you can sign up for an account for free and I highly recommend it. I don't even think you need an account to browse Pinterest. So there you go. Morphe has some cheat sets too. Yes, for sure. They do. And they have sales, you know, keep your eyes out for sales. Those are great. I personally just love the Real Techniques brushes. They work great for me. Those, that's just like my favorite brand. But I have so, I mean, like, literally, guys, I have, like, chibi, chibi brushes, too. Like, this one's, like, from high school. <laughs> like, this set was fun from Amazon. This was, like, an, a mermaid-y set. This was so cheap. This was, like, a $10 set of brushes, you guys, and it came with, like, 20 brushes. Um, I just have such a random collection of brushes. It's crazy. Do you allow other consultants to use your pictures watermarked? Of course. I love your pictures and I just started back up. I'd like to eventually get a library of my own, but I'm looking at options. Yes, Trisha, any distributor is free to use my images as long as the watermark stays in place. And if you collage them like in a big collage and you can't see my individual watermarks, I just that you I just ask that you add like uh lips by swag beauty or something tag to your graphic. Um but yeah, my graphics are free to use as long as they're not modified or um, can't add your logo to them. Ooh, sorry, guys. Um, but you just can leave my logo in place, not remove that, and go ahead and use them at your whim. Those pictures take me a long time, guys, so I really appreciate you working with me on that. I try and be as generous as possible. I love doing pictures to like help you guys. They help my business. I know that they help yours, um, but those are just my only requests, okay? Um how did you come to know Senegens? That's a good question. So let's talk about Shannon's first experiences with Senegens, shall we? Hi, Robin. Thank you so much. So I was introduced to Senegens um, from the old salon that I used to go get my nails done at. The woman that, um, she actually retired, which is sad because I miss her. Um, but the woman that used to do my nails, she was in the salon nearby my town and I used to go see her there. And the woman that owned the salon was a distributor. And she's like, you need to check out Lip Sense. And I'm like, I'm not doing any MLMs. I, I was in Beachbody, you guys. I was in Mona V, which was another like health food one. I was, I had sworn off MLM. I'm not doing it. I don't want any part of it. I was like, not for me. But then I tried Lip Sense and I literally fell in love with the product and I bought six colors from her, from her salon in the first two weeks of me using the product. And I was like, maybe I do need a discount. Maybe, maybe I do want to do this. And then I sort of looked into the business and the compensation plan and I talked it over with my husband. I'm like, this doesn't feel like the bad experiences I had before. This feels like like a really honest company, really good thing to be a part of. And I just was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just dip my toe in and get the discount and the rest is history. So, <laughs> oh, Lindsay, of course. Bailey, it's not that bad. Just keep practicing. I will tell you guys, I don't use the selfie camera for my lip pictures. I do use the front facing camera. I use everything on my phone. People ask me all the time, like, what do I use? I shoot everything from my iPhone. No, quick tips. No selfie camera, fun facing, front facing camera, stick a mirror in front of you, tap on the screen to focus and keep on snapping. I probably take a hundred pictures of my lips, you guys, each time to get one that's good. And then I do have to go through editing it. So um, for each individual lip picture that I take for you guys, there's about two to three hours of work involved in that. And that's why I ask for you guys to be understanding and not just to simply like steal my images. I know you guys aren't stealing them, the ones that are using them properly, but you know what I mean. There is a lot of work put involved. So, um, and you know, I get, I've gotten better with them over the years. My first lip pictures were terrible, like terrible, but you just keep practicing and that's what it's about. And your customers don't know if it's a good picture or a bad picture. Let me tell you that, they don't. 
we know because we see so many graphics, but like your average customer does not know what's a good picture and a bad picture. So just start shooting, keep practicing. You guys got this. Trisha, you're awesome. Shannon, my name is Shannon. I was in Beachbody and just started with Cinegens about two months ago. Shannon, we are like this girl for sure. I love it. Never use the selfie camera either. Genius move for sure. The front facing camera has weight. It's like a higher megapixel. So it's a much better quality camera than the selfie camera. Post, post, post the first compared to now. I actually have done that before Bailey, but it's been a while. So I should probably do that again. Just joined. I'm new. Ashley, congratulations to you. Ashley, I was just talking about my lip pictures. A lot of people were asking me about how I shoot the lip pics. Of course, guys. Of course, yes. I will be happy to post a comparison for you guys in the next coming days. Um, I'll have to find. I'll have to do some digging. I've done work to, like, remove those from my pages because I've reshot pictures and stuff like that. And I get really, like, when you're an art, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I'm an artist, I consider myself. And anything that I consider, like, not up to par work, I literally try and hide. I'm like, nobody find this. It's ugly. Don't look, look under the rug. It's nowhere to be found. Don't worry about this. So I did a good job about stripping those from my Pinterest. So I will go back. I will find them for you. And I will show you guys what I mean. Sounds like what I would do. However, I'm too critical of my stuff. Perfectionist problems. Trisha, I feel that. Virgo over here. I feel you entirely. I live in Wisconsin, so I'd love to get to know you if you're down to become friends. Ashley, I love meeting my fellow friends, my Senna sister friends. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going in. I'm, like, not even talking. I'm going in with um, my, what is this, shading brush from Real Techniques on my inner corner with some Whisper Pink. Just to brighten up my inner corner here. And I'm bringing it slightly on, like, my tear duct. And it's going to open up my eyes a lot. Because I need to have my eyes open because I've been crying. Whisper Pink is like literally almost white, but it just has like a very slight hint of pink. Ah, uh, Bailey, you are the sweetest. You need to come to Florida. I really do. I really need some time in the sun. That would be so nice. I'm not going to be traveling anywhere, though, for a while, though, with all this stuff that's going on. Hopefully come summer, maybe. That'd be nice. I'm just laying low. Whisper pink. Jennifer's in Florida. All you smart girls are in Florida. So again, I'm just kind of brushing it in place. I go back in with my fingers to do a little editing as needed. I love the Instapot brushes from Real Techniques, you guys, because they have this great shape, and I love, like, just pressing in the color. I love that, you guys. See how it just totally brightened up my eyes? <laughs> Pensacola, Mississippi, Asheville, North Carolina. It's pretty there. I think I've been to Asheville. Um, so now I'm going to go in, let's see, with my Bella Cream, which I'm loving. Part of the Bella Celebration Collection. Such a pretty color. And I'm going to put this on my outer corner. So I'm just using like three different pinky shades here. And I'm coming up my outer corner, bringing this up towards my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it out with my finger. So I'm bringing it up towards the brow. And then I'm going to take a very small amount on my brush. And I'm going to bring it over and we're going to create kind of like a cut crease look. I'm just creating a moon shape around my main part of my eyelid where I had that rosé shimmer. I'm going to do, I was going to do my makeup, but I saw you were alive. <laughs> well, you can do it along with me, girl. It's pretty. I love pinky tones this time of year. And I'm just sort of building up this color. Shadow Sense, again, you guys, has a longer working time than Lip Sense. 
and it also needs to be put on in layers especially if you want like full color saturation so I always recommend don't go in with like a huge amount of color at one time start lighter and you can build up from there and then I'm casual I'm just kind of like bringing this into the center and like making a pretty blend see how like it all just kind of blends together and then I'm going to go back in using my original fluffy brush that I took out with the with the rosé shimmer <clears throat> Just picking up a little bit of color and then I'm going to come back here and just go over this section again for like a little bit more pop. Since that's my shimmer, I want that to pop. So I'm just going over this intersection. What do you guys think? That's totally easy, right? Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much. Yes, I do. I'm thinking you were talking about snow shadow scents at first and then I'm like, oh, you're talking about real snow. Yes, I do have snow shadow scents and we do have snow outside as well. Um, it snowed a quite a bit last night. We didn't get hit as hard as some of the other states did. Like I know New York got slammed last night. Um, and the area of Ohio that I'm in wasn't too bad. Um, but we got a couple inches. Tennessee. Well, I'm glad you hopped on, Ashley. Um, now I'm going back in with this rosé shimmer again. And I'm just using the tippy part of my brush here to just bring this a little bit under my brow. And I'm kind of just blending it into this Bella cream that I have right here. And there we go, pretty easy. Um, and after I do that move and I kind of like put that shimmer under that brow line, I'm just gonna take my brow brush again and just kind of put my little hairs back in place because it kind of made my little hairs go about. There you go. I really love that. Okay. Um, I don't miss the snow one bit. Trisha got three feet. Yes. Christine, New York got clobbered. I heard that, Christine. Crazy. Crazy. So are you an Ohio Buckeyes fan? I'm not a huge sports girl. I will admit it. Like, yes, I'm a Buckeyes fan. Yes. It's not that I'm against the Buckeyes, but I can't tell you the last time I watched a game. <laughs> My husband doesn't watch much football either. I really lucked out that way, I have to say. So, um, we don't watch a ton of football. I feel I feel bad saying that, but it's true. Um, April's originally from Columbus, but now you reside in Charleston, South Carolina. Don't miss the snow. I bet you don't, girl. I bet you don't. I don't like the snow. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty on Christmas. But other than that, I could totally live without it. How do you get the angle towards your brow with the outer corner color? Okay, so I'm gonna do this again on this eye and let's see if maybe I can explain it better. So I'm just doing a couple dots of color at first with the wand and then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just bringing it up towards that brow and I'm sort of just like patting it and blending it into place. And it's sort of light because we can absolutely build up this color Allie Morris kept me when I was little. What do you mean she kept you? Don't get snow often in here. It's summer over in New Zealand. Ooh, I'm so jealous. I am so jealous. I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. Okay, so I'm just bringing this color up. Kind of slowly and gently. And then, like I said, I'm going to use my middle finger there to sort of blend out in between this Bella Cream and Rosé Shimmer. We've been getting pretty lucky in Pennsylvania, mostly cold, but then big snowstorms here and there, which is nice for the kids. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, she babysat you. That's so cute. I love that. What a small world. Uh, my wife, my husband watches more football than me. Allie says, <laughs> that's funny. My husband probably does too. I mean, my husband will watch a football game if someone tells him, oh, like there's a really good game on. So-and-so's, this team's doing really great. He'll totally turn it on. But we are not the like every Sunday football family for sure. Okay, so now I'm just doing, again, I'm going above this like half moon shape to create a cut crease. And again, I'm just like using a very small amount. You can always build up your color, you guys. It's harder to take off the color than to remove the color, or than to apply it. So always start slow. You can add as you go. I'm just gonna use my middle finger there. New Zealand girl. I'm so jealous of you New Zealand girls. One day I'm going to get my butt there. One day. So 
So it's just kind of like playing and tinkering until it feels right. I really love that. I do, I kind of just go back and forth, you know? What do you guys think of this look so far? I'm in the South. SEC college ball is like a religion roll tight. <laughs> Jennifer, I love that. I love it. You guys are funny. I'm like, I literally, I'm like, I don't have anything to contribute to this conversation because I don't watch sports. <laughs> I will, I, I'm, I, I mean, I watch, I watch, what, do, what does hubby watch? Hubby loves watching tennis. He was like, my hubby's a great tennis player great so like he actually taught me a lot about the game of tennis and I used to find watching tennis incredibly boring but somehow he made it interesting for me I don't know how that works I think just because he's so passionate about it you know but we do watch tennis so whenever there's like the open on or whatever we watch tennis my dad watched so much golf growing up I definitely find having a golf game on in the background soothing even though I cannot stand golf it's just sort of like the noises of the golf game remind me of my dad um, I do like watching some basketball games. I'm in Cleveland, so we have the Cavs, and, you know, we had a championship. Of, you know, what was that? God, it's been a while ago already. That was a while ago. I can't remember how many years ago we won the championship, and that was, like, a big deal in the city, and everybody was watching at that point. So I do watch some sports, just not a lot. So there we go. You inspired me to use Bella Cream. I haven't tried it yet. Christine, I love Bella Cream, and I love it for the cut crease because um, we also have the Bella Shimmer, which came out with that collection, but I don't like putting shimmers up in my crease. I think mattes look really, really great there. So the Bella Cream is so fun, and I think it's really, really pretty for Valentine's Day, too. I just, I'm constantly tweaking, guys. Like, I literally not never stop. Um, And then I'm just going to take little q-tip here just kind of clean up this inner line I love q-tips they're like makeup brushes without being makeup brushes so I think that's really really pretty okay um I'm gonna go in with my starry sky eyeliner and grab my mascaras too Bailey says, I can't wait for you to get the new duo that was released today. I know those glasses look so gorgeous, don't they, Bailey? Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. I love the satin matte glosses, like the satin matte collection that came out. Still have some of those in stock. I, I, I stocked up on them because I was like, those are the best <laughs> glosses ever. They're so smooth. Um, I'm not a huge fan of our regular matte gloss. It's not my fave. I find it to be a little bit more on the dry side. So I like the, the satin mattes. They are so smooth. Ashley wants to know, how long does it take for you to do your makeup? Well, if I'm not online talking, you know, I can do, it depends. Are we talking like quick face or are we talking like more ornate face? So if I wasn't talking to you guys and I was doing the same exact look, it probably would take me 20 minutes, but I can also do like a quick face in like 10. Is there a regular slot that you do your lives? I found this by accident and learned so much. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, I sort of just kind of come on with the makeup lives. Um, I do hair lives every Thursday. Um, those are usually scheduled for like Thursdays around 3 p.m. I'm always going to be on doing my hair. But other than that, I just sort of like to hop on when I find the time. And I fully admit it's been a while since I've come on here to do a makeup get ready with me. But I've had a lot of you request for me to start doing them again. So I've decided to start making it more of a priority in my business. So, um, I'm definitely going to be doing more lives. I wish I could give you a schedule, but unfortunately with the way that my business works, I am sort of unpredictable. Some days I'll be shooting all day. Sometimes I'll literally be in like pajamas packing orders all day. Um, so I just, there's a lot of different aspects to this business that can throw off my schedule. Like today we had a new product drop, um, new release around 1 p.m. And that just kind of threw, I was going to hop on live and I had to sort of push it aside um, to take care of everything with the new graphics and everything. So that's why it's hard for me to schedule lives. But I will be doing more of them. And I hope that you will give this page a follow. So you can actually turn on, I think, like a notification whenever I go live. 
So I, I don't know where it is, but it should be somewhere in this live window. It should say like, you know, get a notification whenever Smack Beauty goes live. You can always hit that as well. Um, so I am in the Eastern time zone, which is like, I'm in Ohio, Cleveland area. So it is, oh, my watch is dying. That's, I charged this last night. Why is it dying? It's a little after three o'clock here. So I'm going in with my Starry Sky Eyeliner now. This is still my favorite Senegens eyeliner. It is being discontinued, but I have a couple more in stock. It has a little bit of glitter to it, which is so fun. I love the formula of Starry Sky. Let me just kind of start on this outer edge of my eye, and then I go on the inner edge, and then I'm going to like go here with the corner and bring this up towards the brow. Kind of a little line there and then I'm going to take the tip of this line and connect it to sort of make like a triangle shape and that's my wing that is the wing that I do like every day tap the three dots at the top of the screen it will give you an option to turn on notifications Bailey coming through once again with the helpful information thank you Bailey you are awesome so I'm just gonna use my Q-tip here with a little bit of micellar water on it. And what I'm gonna do is take this out here where my eyeshadow ran beyond the line of my eyeliner. And I'm just cleaning that up so we get a nice clean line. Hi Holly, how are you? I missed you too. I miss you guys so much. I miss I miss talking to you guys. Bailey, you're the best. You're so good at fast at liner. Ashley, literally practice, 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 practice. Just keep practicing. I was not always this proficient. I can guarantee you that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Outer corner. Inner corner. Thanks, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I get like funny about making my lines even, but that's fine. Then again, we're gonna start here at this outer corner and draw up to the exact line of where the end of my eyebrow is. See how that's like one line? And I'm not worrying about where the shadow is because I'm going to clean it up. But like I said, then we're going to take this outer corner and kind of connect it, making a triangle. Sorry about the angle. I know it's kind of weird. I'm trying to see in this mirror. Maybe I can do this better this way. There we go. Um, so am I going out with your guy for Valentine's? We're probably going to have a date night in. We've been laying pretty low with this pandemic and going out to restaurants and stuff still makes me really nervous. So we're probably going to be in, but that's okay. Did you, ha did you have your group public from the start? Bailey, actually my, pri my VIP group has always been private, only to customers only. Um, my page is welcome to anybody and everybody, but my VIP group is closed off and it is for customers only. When you first started practicing, how long did it take? Um, my makeup, it just, again, depends on the, the look that I'm doing. I mean, I used to do my makeup in like 15 minutes when I was in high school, but it didn't look good. <laughs> so, I mean, it's all relative. Um, I'd say, I mean, there's no time limit, Ashley. Literally, just do what you want to do and then see how long it takes. And then you kind of know what you have time to work with, you know. But I guarantee the more you keep practicing, the quicker you're going to get. Thinking about making another group on top of my private VIP group and make public so I can reach more people. That's totally up to you, Bailey. Everybody has like a different school of thought. I like leaving my group private for my customers so they feel like it's a, you know, comfortable place to share their selfies and share their experiences. And then I love having my public page for all you guys to come hang out with me on. Anything else than that is just too much for me to focus on because like I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, literally every app you can imagine so I can only I only did so much guys 
I didn't know you had a VIP group. How do you get invited? Holly, I can send you a link. I can send you a link. I'm sorry. Um, I know there's some sort of link in my page that'll connect you there, but I don't even know how to direct you there. So once this live is over, I can send you a link. Um, the link URL though, I think it's facebook.com backslash groups backslash, what is it? Swack Beauty. I think it is. Yeah, it's facebook.group backslash groups backslash Swack Beauty. So it's basically the same as you, this URL, but it has like a groups section in it. Um, but like I said, if you guys are a distributor, I unfortunately will not be able to accept you into the group. It's nothing personal. It's just, it's like a blanket rule. So if I let one of you in, I didn't have to let all of you in. So I just literally the only distributors that are in that group are on my team. Of course, Ashley, of course. I am so happy to help. Okay. So I've got my shadow on. We're going to do a little mascara. I'm going to warm it up just by like holding on to it. The mascara always works better when it's warm. So literally like just warm it up. You can sit on it if you want while you're doing your makeup, whatever. It does work a lot better when it's warm. I will wait for your link. Of course, Holly, I'll send it to you. with some mascara and I do personally like to layer my mascaras so I'm using the regular formula that I'm gonna layer in the waterproof and then I'm gonna go back in with another layer of the regular how did you think of your beauty group or business name Ashley I've signed my yearbooks with SWAC since kindergarten so to me that was a really personal name it was a way that I, you know, communicated with my friends back in the day and it felt like an appropriate fit. So I always recommend make your the name, you know, something personal to you. You know, you me having to live in a hotel due to mold, we have to go out to eat, so I gotta get ready. Oh you oh I didn't even know you were doing that right now, Bailey. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm sorry. Sending you love. Go get you some lunch, girl. No, Ashley, this was my name to start with. I got a little bit of liner up there. That's fine. We're just gonna get that off. Easy. Good, and I'm gonna use the regular first. And like, why do I do this? A lot of people wonder why I do this. Well, our lash senses have, you know, two different formulas. We have a regular formula and we have a waterproof formula. The regular brush, as you can see, has more like of a cone shape. And I find that that shape really helps my lashes feel a lot longer. It's really good at brushing them out and creating length. The waterproof formula, see how much fluffier of a brush that is, you guys? So I find that the waterproof formula actually helps my lashes feel more voluminous, more volumized. So I like to mix them both. I put on the regular first to kind of brush them out. Then I add, I don't put the waterproof on my lowers. And then I add more volume using the waterproof. And then I'm going to go back in with the regular to kind of give it one more lengthening pull. And I do put the, the regular on my lower lashes. Till March 21st. Been there a month. Bailey, I had no idea. I'm thinking of you. That's so crazy. Mold's no joke. I love it. Mine is beautiful. Cute cute girl okay I'm taking these out all right because we got the eyes done that is so pretty I love this eyeshadow look guys what do you think about this pretty and pink look and then we're gonna do some lips Bailey we will talk later good luck to you I'm thinking about you let's do some lips shall we I'm just wiping off my lips I got a little foundation on them a little concealer spit whatever we're just gonna wipe that all off okay <laughs> so I think I'm going to do a mix of my two new favorite lip colors which is Amore and Bellissima which is from the Amore collection I'm loving these colors you guys are so pretty for Valentine's Day um and I think I'm gonna top it off with the metallic rose gloss I actually 
This is one of the mini midi size tubes when Metallic Rose was first released. Um, it is now, however, available in a full size tube. So a full size tube is this size. If you guys love Metallic Rose gloss, you can grab it in the larger full size tube. So I'm so excited about that. But first we're going to mix Amore and Bellissima. I think that's gonna be really pretty. Of course, Bailey. Christine, me too. I can't get enough of it. Ashley just ordered it. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so we're gonna just shake up our Amore and I'm gonna do a mix. And a lot of people wonder how I do my mixes. First thing I grab is a tattoo ink ring. This is, you can get these on Amazon. Again, if you guys want any links, let me know. I can send you to my Amazon shop. Um, but they come just like in a pack of 100 or 200 or whatever. Um, I love, they're, 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 these are what people actually use to tattoo. Like they'll put the inks in here and then ding. Okay. But um, for me, it's a great place to mix my lip colors because Lip Sense has cosmetic grade alcohol in it. We know it dries really fast, right? So if you're doing a mix of a Lip Sense color and you do it like on a piece of paper or on a paper towel or a piece of wax paper, which all will work um, to mix on, your color is gonna dry up really fast. So if you don't apply it on your lips like really, really fast, it's gonna dry and the consistency is not gonna be great. So I like doing it in these ink rings because the well, which is like the cup that I'm scooping this color into, allows the color to not dry out as fast because it's in like a cup. So I'm just putting, I'm filling about halfway up with Amore. And then I'm gonna flip the ring around on my finger so it's easier to scrape into. See, I got it halfway full with the Bellissima. So I'm just mixing it out on the other side, mixing that color in. Well, I'm not mixing yet, I'm just scooping it in to this cup. And I just wanna make sure I have enough color in here for all three layers of my lips. What about half half and half because I like doing equal mixes but again that's all up to you you could do like three quarters one color one quarter something else get creative with it guys have fun um, and then I'm just gonna take a disposable lip wand again this is from Amazon but the distributor back office does have these as well um, for when you're doing demos and stuff like that it's just a just dis um, just disposable wand um, I'm not mixing using the wand from one of these tubes because then I'd sort of be contaminating my color if that makes sense so just using a disposable wand to mix those colors together. And that's literally how I mix, guys. It's so easy and you can really get so creative with it. So I'm gonna take my ear and we're gonna put this on. I've always kind of outlined the shape of my lips first and then go in and fill them in so that's one layer Ooh, that's really pretty you guys loving that mix now I can top this with the Tesoro gloss which comes with the Amore collection or I can do metallic rose what do you guys think Tesoro is like a rose gold and metallic rose is that like really pretty, like purpley glittery color. That's so pretty. Okay, two layers down, one more layer. And I do slightly overline my lips, just slightly. And that makes my lips look even fuller. Metallic Rose, Christine says. I love Metallic Rose. Got a little bit. What do you guys think? That is such a pretty color. Okay, Metallic Rose, you guys are all on the same page as me because that's what I'm thinking too. We're just gonna let this dry 
for a couple of minutes. I think that's such a pretty mix. That was, again, the Bellissima mixed with Amore. So fun. Letting that dry. Wanna make sure it's totally dry before we start glossing. Still a little wet. So I got my metallic rose. Again, this is my older tube. This is from when it was originally released. It has now been re-released as part of the Shimmering Rose Petal Gloss Duo um, in a full-size tube along with Primrose Gloss. So that just arrived into stock yesterday, and I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, you guys, look how pretty that is. This doesn't have a gloss on it. This does. Thanks, Ashley. I love that mix, you guys. What do you think? I love that. It totally changed the look of that color. It added like a little bit of a lavendery pinky flare. Loving that. Okay. I feel human again, guys. I do. All right. Um, I'm almost done, but I'm just going to put on a little bit of blush because it's like my favorite thing to brighten up my face. Christine says, perfect. Thank you. Um, so I'm just taking my fluffy brush, blush brush from Real Techniques. Yes, I love this combo. I'm just taking a really small amount, you guys, because our blush sense a little goes a long way. You see, I just put like the tiniest little dot on here. Starting in the apples of my cheeks with a big smile. And just blending it in like that. And this is adding just some color to my face. I love terracotta. I am an olive skin tone, so I find that that peachy tone just really looks great. What a difference, right? What a difference. Just a little bit of blush. And I kind of just go up from my like big, big puffy part of my cheeks up this way. And I always kind of smile and look deranged when I'm putting it on, but that's fine. <laughs> what do you guys think? The blush makes a big difference, right? Some people don't understand how important blush really is to a look. I find it really ties the whole face together. It makes you kind of look like one complete look, you know? Thank you so much, Carol. What a pretty name, by the way. I love the spelling of that. That's gorgeous. So there we go. We have a full face on, guys. Wow. That feels good. That feels really, really good. I'm, I mean, I just it just feels good to be me again, you know? So thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate that. That was a blast. Do you guys have any other questions before I hop off? Ashley uses shadows for her blush. Yes, the shadow senses are amazing for blush too. I love how versatile they are. I mean, you can you saw me use them today on my brows for my contour as shadow. Um, you absolutely can do eyeliner with the shadow sense as well. Blush, it's the possibilities are endless, you guys. So it's really, really great. Good, of course, Carol. It's really, really a cool spelling. I've never seen that before. I like it. So I'm going to take some pictures of this look. I will be posting them this evening on my page. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and for all of your sweet comments over the weekend. You guys have just brought so much comfort to me, um, whether you replied to one of my posts when I explained what was going on or if you replied to my stories. Those who watched my stories pretty much saw everything it was as, as it was happening and um, just sent me so many messages of positivity and love and support and compassion. You guys really just warmed warmed my heart. So I have to say thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart, um, from both Ryan and I. And we, we will get through this, for sure. 
so yes, and I will be back. Like I said, I'm going to try and make these lives more a regular part of my business because I have so much fun hopping on here with you guys. And I know that you guys find these helpful. And that is just the most important thing in the world to me is I really want to be as helpful to you as possible. So drop your suggestions for what you'd like to see me do on a live next or any questions you might have. And I'll be sure to get to them on my next Get Ready With Me live. All right, guys. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me today. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much and have a beautiful day.